something we automatically need to do. Why do we do that? Well, here's something interesting you might not know. Researchers have discovered a while ago that as humans, we have something called the negativity bias which means that we're literally drawn to the negative. When we see negative images, we think negative thoughts, we say negative things, we get more electrical activity in our brain. Isn't that interesting? And it's, this is evidence-based. There's research to back this up, a negativity bias. So we're naturally drawn to the negative. Now, some of you are thinking, my gosh, I wish I had learned that years ago. I could have saved thousands on therapy, right? Because you're thinking, why is everybody I work with so negative? Why is my family so negative, my friends all the time? Because we have that negativity bias. We're drawn to the negative. And now knowing that, it's important to understand that it's important to actually work to get to stay positive and be responsible for what you put out into the world. Because whether you throw a negative pebble or a positive pebble into the pond, either one is going to create ripples. All right? So if you're surrounded by negativity and you're being negative as well, you're helping to build that negative culture wherever it is that you work, all right? Very important. Um, some other negative things that we say about nursing. How about this one? Nurses eat their young. Okay, so here's what I have to say about that. I have a lot of issues with that statement. First of all, do we just get an amazing award to preceptor of the year up here? Hello? Okay, so when you say nurses eat their young, you are completely discounting all the amazing work that all the rest of us are doing every single day and not talking about it. Now you can say, oh, but Donna, but Donna, there's some people that do it. Whenever I hear a nurse say nurses eat their young, I say, I don't do that, do you? And they say, oh, no, 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 I don't do it. I don't do it, but other people do it. So I say, well, if you don't do it, you know, you're, when you make that statement, you're casting aspersions on the entire profession, including me. And the problem with making that statement over and over again is that you, again, that's something else we pass down, like a legacy. And every time you say it, you're perpetuating it, you're growing it, you're making more people believe it. And here's the interesting thing. When I wrote my first book, Your First Year as a Nurse, I interviewed scads of new nurses for that book. I wanted to learn about their experiences. I wanted to find out those who were being more successful, what they were doing versus the others that were really struggling. And I expected to hear horror stories from those new nurses. I was waiting to hear them. I was ready to write them down and record them. I heard hardly any of them. I heard a story about one nurse that didn't get along with his manager, another one who didn't get along with somebody on their unit, but I heard mostly amazing, wonderful stories of experienced nurses who were professional, who were compassionate, who were supportive. And in fact, one nurse that I highlight in the book, he said, my preceptor was great. We worked together on days. When I was transferred to the night shift, she gave me her home number and said, if you get stuck on something, call me. I don't care if you wake me up. But we don't tell those stories, right? But we love to tell the negative stories. Why is that? It's that negativity bias. And sometimes it's learned behavior. We feel like we just need to keep passing that negativity along. Some of us thrive on negativity, a lot of us. All right? If you want to point out what you perceive is wrong with the profession, you have to also point out what's right with the profession. If you want to underscore what you think is a problem, then you have to underscore what we're doing right and all the good work that's out there. Why do we hear so much about the negative? Because the negative people talk the loudest and the longest. And the rest of us, which is the vast majority of us in this profession, the rest of us who do the right thing every day, we don't walk around saying, I helped another new nurse today. Well, I was supportive of my coworkers today. I, was, I volunteered to be a preceptor, and I'm loving what I'm doing. We don't talk about those things because that's just part of being a professional nurse.